Hi, welcome to Fun A, Fun and Learning with Adam. We are now at lesson 6 of our Intro to Algebra series. Today's topic is on expressions and variables. Here we will introduce algebraic expressions and evaluating expressions. Shall we go ahead and start? An expression in mathematics is like a phrase or sentence that describes the operations that need to be performed on the numbers and or variables within the expression. A numerical expression consists of numbers and operations. It does not contain any unknown variable, equality, or inequality symbols. An example is 2 plus 5. An algebraic expression on the other hand consists of unknown variables, numbers and operations. It also does not contain any equality or inequality symbols. Examples are 2x plus 5 and 9x plus 12y. x and y in these expressions are the variables. Variables can be any letter that may contain any or various values. Algebraic expressions are classified on the basis of the number of terms in the expression. Monomial expressions contain only one term. An example is 6x. Binomial expressions contain two non-zero terms. An example is 6x plus y. Trinomial expressions have three non-zero terms. Example is 6a plus 2b plus c. Polynomial expressions have two or more terms. This also includes binomial and trinomial expressions. Now, let's look at evaluating expressions. Unlike a numeric expression, an algebraic expression has no definite value. Instead, an algebraic expression describes how to calculate a number for each value of its variables. To evaluate an algebraic expression, say 2x plus 5, for some value of x, you substitute that value for x, and then perform the operation. But wait, before we go ahead with evaluating sample algebraic expressions, we first need to remember that we must follow the order of operations rule. The order of operations is a rule that tells the correct sequence of steps for evaluating an expression. We can remember the order using PEMDAS, which means parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, from left to right, addition and subtraction, from left to right. In an expression, anything that is inside the parentheses needs to be evaluated first. For multiplication and division, go from left to right as you find them. Do the same for addition and subtraction. Not following the correct order of operations will lead to an incorrect value. Order is very important. In other parts of the world, some call it differently. Some may prefer gems for grouping, exponents, multiply or divide, add or subtract. In the UK, they say bodmas for brackets, orders, divide, multiply, add, subtract. In Canada, they say bedmas for brackets, exponents, divide, multiply, add, subtract. Now, let's evaluate expressions following the order of operations rule. Example number 1. Evaluate 2 times the quantity x plus 5, when x equals 8. First, substitute x with 8, or others also say, plug in the value of x. 2 times the quantity x plus 5 becomes 2 times the quantity 8 plus 5. Then, perform the operation. From the order of operation rule, first evaluate whatever's inside the parentheses. So, for this case, 2 times the quantity 8 plus 5 becomes 2 times 13, which is then equal to 26. Now, let's say for example 2, we evaluate the same set of numbers and operations when x is also 8, but this time without the parentheses. 2x plus 5. Plugging in the value of x, we get 2 times 8 plus 5. It then becomes 16 plus 5, which is equal to 21. That was easy, right? Remember, outcomes depend on what's done first. Just like in real life. We will cover laws of combination in our next video for this series. Till then, don't forget to like this video and click on subscribe if you haven't yet.